Welcome back to the second day. Um, infinitely unraveling. So what's being suggested is in complete and total darkness where there's nowhere to go when everything is lost and there's nothing to gain. In the absence of seemingly certainties, in the lack of positions, the transparency and the meaninglessness of words, even this is it falls apart. And what is does not stop as it is, doesn't have any meaning when movement and stillness are equally the same because they're just made up of words. The real and unreal are united. The sound, the sound and the silence, I was about to say the sound of silence, are heard and unheard. <laughs> There's no doing and not doing, asleep and awake, personal and impersonal, duality and non-duality. Words are not words. There's a seeming infinite unraveling. There's an infinite stillness simultaneously, but it can't be felt, it cannot be figured out because the one that's trying to figure out is just a word that infinitely unravels. Like a vivid dream when everything is thought to be real, in the moment of awakeness, there is just this infinite unraveling of what seemed to be true or what seemed to be false is a blank, is a dot, dot, dot. It's unknown, even it feels that it's known. When there's no more anchors, the ship sails. When there's longing, that is unknown. What is it longing for? What is it seeking? What is it searching? When words fail to convey what is going on, or is it even going on without a word? Is it really happening or is not really happening? When both fall apart, as it seems, when the questions rise and fall, because the answers leads to more questions that also rises and falls. It's like there's no more acceptance or rejection because accepting meaning means coming into a conclusion or rejecting also comes to a conclusion. When conclusions is just a destination, when there's just the surprise, there's really no destination to this. When there's clarity and even in bouts of confusion, it's the sameness, the ups and downs, that this is it, this is not it, it's the same. So what's being suggested is that it can't be suggested because what's being suggested is does not appear, but it's felt at the same time. But what is it really when the rise and fall of the words seems to happen always, but there's this lingering ideas that seems to connect things like a continuous flow, but the continuous flow seems to be broken when words are not used, but it's not really broken because it's infinitely unraveling. This infinite unraveling is just a flow. And that's even saying so much because a flow becomes an idea of what should flow and what should not flow. <laughs> I often talk to people that seemingly have dropped away. And what seems to have dropped away was the never was. So unexpectedly, there could be days of like hooray and there could be days of just crying for no reason at all. But what was always clear was there was nothing that was ever figured out. Because when it thinks that it figures it out, it always unravels infinitely. 
it never sticks. Nothing ever sticks. Although there's really nothing for it to stick to. It's like this open river that just keeps on flowing. It never dries out. Sometimes it thinks that it is stuck. Sometimes it thinks that it's not stuck. Again, this infinite unraveling with no reason or purpose, which is also infinitely still, cannot be captured in thoughts, in words and meanings or destinations. And the words that are seemingly flowing through here are completely and utterly meaningless. But somehow there is a feeling of meaning. Somehow there's a feeling of purpose. But when the words that appears, you know, try to label what is going on, then it disintegrates completely again. But what it doesn't notice is that the coming and going, because the coming and going are not really real, but it's also not real. It's just a flow. And this infinitely unraveling, it's like the unspooling of something that does not really have a beginning or does not really have an end. So this unspooling or unraveling is this continuous motion of stillness. And it can't be captured in a thought. How could complete stillness be moving? How can timelessness seem to appear in segments of time? How can questions and answers just always comes back as words? So again, what is feared of is that darkness, that unknown, that uncertainty, where you and I meet and disintegrate because there's no you and I in darkness or in complete blackout. So this blackout or this unknowingness is absence absent of any thoughts or words or ideas or if even any feelings, even feelings of certainty that this is what I feel, this is what rings through to me, simply unravels. It topples down. It's free falling. It's fresh and new. But when you think what fresh and new is, then it stops there again. <laughs> When you think what is stillness, it stuck, sticks there again. But it's always unraveling. Stillness is always unraveling. The silence is always sounding. So when it's just this that cannot be figured out, and no one knows anything because there's no, the moment that it knows it, it creates a separation in something that's not really separated. Because separation is just an idea, it's just a word. And you are just the idea and the word that keeps on coming up in this unraveling infinity. If you have any questions, let's unravel them. And hopefully kind of like illuminate that there's always nothing and not even nothing, but just, that's just a word. So thank you again for coming to the second day. Um, I got a whole bunch of questions that I'm going to address in the next meeting. I just really wanted to open with this um, unraveling um, in hopes that what's being suggested is not heard. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> And cheers. And the chat is open. Sorry, I did not see that. Hi, Emerson. You always mention in, in, in all of your talks that it's already done. What do you mean by that? Um, this is already um, unraveling. So whatever you think you need to get to, it's already done, meaning that it's already 
it, it can never be it can never be pinpointed at. It can never get to it because it's always this and there's nothing outside of this unraveling. You can also say that all that there is is this. But the moment that you think what this is, it unravels into this infinite this. And this infinite this is always this. Whatever it is, is always this. So trying to capture that and saying that this is it, trying to label it, putting it in a box and trying to figure it out, figure it out. The moment that you think that you have grabbed it, the moment that you think that you have mastered it or come to a conclusion, it unravels. It disintegrates. It disappears. <laughs> Thank you for this talk, Emerson. Yesterday, while I was walking, all the words that were rising up just seemed to vanish and I can't come up with anything anymore and it's nice to listen to this but there's nothing coming up anymore um thank you there's nothing that was done it was just basically an illumination that just words are just words Hi, I think that someone pointed it out yesterday about the felt sense. Can you describe more about this felt sense? Sure, yeah. Again, you know what? There's always going to be this movement and stillness simultaneously, seemingly happening. So there's going to be this stillness and the movement is this illusion of movement, this felt sense of, but I feel it. And that but I feel it or, you know, what rings through or what, you know, that I'm moving through time and space is the movement in stillness. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It's neither true or not true. It's just this felt sense. And there's just a, a naming of it as a claiming of it as my felt sense of separation. But again, if you take away the my and the felt sense or the, the, the word separation, it's just simply what is. There's really no mystery to it. If you take out all the words, there's really not even a paradox when the words don't um, create a barrier of what is and what isn't or trying to figure out what seems to be moving simultaneously and stillness at the same time because it just really breaks the mind that there's no mind because you can't think of something because the mind can only think in movements like a felt sense, reality, um, it always will need an opposite to be able to go in a direction. But when it's given a, you know, a conundrum, like this is moving stillness, it can't seem to, it, it tries, it tries to figure it out. It tries to understand or tries to um, embody it, but there's no body, tries to um, perceive it. But what is trying to be perceived cannot be thought of because it's impossible meaning that in a lack of, you know, when there's no explanation, it's simply it as it is. There's nothing wrong with, you know, with this, but the wrong and right is created by thinking what this is and what it should be. What do you mean what, when you say uh, movement and stillness are the same? Um, thank you for doing this talk. Um, it, it's really helpful, but I'm getting really confused. Again, you know what, going back into what I was saying before, thank you for that. It's like a nice segue to what I was talking about. 
movement and stillness are just words. So we think that there's only either stillness or movement. So the direction of the way that, you know, trying to perceive this or grab this is either or. It cannot put, you know, um, two together as simply not two, meaning that there's no opposites. There's no, there's not just stillness and not just movements because that's coming into a destination or a, um, or this or that. So when the, when it's lifted, you know what I'm saying? Nothing was lifted because nothing was, was, was separating it. When, when the apparent, when the seeming illusion of opposites or a preferred state seems to be seen as just equally the same, then whatever is, is, this is movement, and this is also stillness at the same time, but it can't be thought about. I'm not sure if that answered it, but. So there's nothing that needs to be united or nothing that needs to be perceived as same because to perceive it, it creates this illusion that it was separate in the first place. So when it's being expressed that moving is stillness, stillness is move, moving, then there's nothing really different. It's, it's happening at the same time or not happening at the same time, at, at the same time, but there's no separation whatsoever. It's just a thought. So in the absence of thought, there's no movement there. There's no stillness. It can't be, it can't be captured in a thought because thoughts or words would either just describe it either as this or that. Even saying same, um, there's an opposite, not the same. So really we're just playing in words and words are just really obscuring what is perfectly clear. The wholeness of everything. Emerson, what is the gateless gate? I've heard the phrase before, but I don't know what it refers to. Feels like it might be related to what you're speaking about. I'm not really sure about the gateless gate. Um, I think it it's rooted in Buddhism. You know that there is really no gate. Um, when you pass through that, it's just I'm not really sure. I'm not really. It's 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 rooted in Buddhism, and I know that there's some inquiry about that. But yeah, it's, I'm not really sure if it's similar. <laughs> I have to look it up. But I've heard of it, but it's, it's rooted in, in um, if someone knows what it is, it's just, it's rooted in maybe in Zen, Buddhist tradition. Um, but that's another belief, right? So this is actually the absence in either gateless or gate or the same. But yeah, thanks for, I'll, I'll look it up after this and, and maybe I'll have a question after. Yeah. Hi, Emerson. I spent a few hours after the two meetings and I completely forgot to attend the third meeting. I was just staring at the wall and it felt really peaceful, but I'm also afraid of it as if nothing is really happening and I'm just making everything up. Can you shed some light on that? It's kind of scary, but it's also really peaceful. Um, it usually happens, you know, when, when there is a, you know, um, you know, in the story anyway, when there is this flurry of thoughts about what is and when it when it's seen that the flurry of thoughts is just really like nothing like nothing it's just the same as rain it's just the same as and so everything all the weight of that you know words or the weight of that trying to figure out collapses seemingly temporarily but you know it's just an appearance it's just basically like a silencing of all of that um usually when when you know i've heard and this is just a story this doesn't really have any 
this is not um, you know a destination or a, an attainment or nothing. Um, usually I hear you know people that listens and they usually say that there's a blackout of thoughts. There's just you know they didn't understand anything, but there's a sense of um, peace that it doesn't have to be understood because all of these words are just really trying to um, dislodge words that are that are seemingly stuck but there's not even stuck because they're just words thank hi Emerson thank you so much uh, for that the word that got stuck what's that is self well, you know what? We're going to talk about the self in the next meeting then. <laughs> I actually have a, so many, there's just, you know, like there, maybe a few, maybe four or five were asking about similar things because that's the, um, seemingly that that's the, um, the secret hidden kind of like word is the self because there's a self that thinks that, um, you know, that it's separate, the me or the I or whatever, um, you know, which is obviously absent but seemingly it feels like it's present. But yeah, that's uh, that's a word that um, that um, it's like the root word of a lot of things that's separate, right? The self creates time, the self creates others, the self creates other words um, seemingly to create a reality because when there's a juxtaposition, when there is a real or unreal, then it creates a reality or an unreality. It creates a this or that, a you and I. Simply when there is no self, um, there is clarity because there's not two. Apparently, everything is just as it is. But the self, when the self seemingly comes in or the, um, the idea of a separate self comes in, then it becomes two. Because there's this seeing and the seer. So there's a, there's a separateness in what's being seen. It, it creates this um, inside and outside. There seems to be this self-chatter or self-inquiry of what it is, or um, which is just re really all imaginary. There's no inside or outside. So there's this constant feeling of confusion. Sometimes it feels like it's going crazy. Sometimes it doubts itself. <laughs> Sometimes it has difficulty trusting. 
Sometimes there's self-aggrandizement. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, assuming that there's something wrong or there's something right. Um, but yeah. It's like, <laughs> I'll talk about this in the next session. It's like the self is gaslighting itself. So how did you get out of the self? Um, there is no self and there is no self. So when it's seen that self and no self are just words, really, it's just the unknowable, unknowable expression of what is. Neither a self or a no self. It's just what is. Hey, Emerson, I like the intro. What is infinitely unraveling when there is no one? Um, infinity is unraveling. And the infinity that I'm speaking about cannot really be thought of. It's not even infinity. For a lack of a better term, there's just word that is being utilized to, um, so that it's unthinkable. So the unthinkable is unraveling. but it's also still. But again, I'm just using words again to express something that is unknowable, that does not have any pattern. It's, it's like anarchy, chaos, wildness. I like it when Mickey said it's just wildness. It doesn't have a structure. It doesn't have a, a source. It doesn't have a destination. It's just what is. What is that cannot be talked about? What is that cannot be comprehended? What is that cannot be captured? Yet here we are talking about it.
what kind of donuts do you like? <laughs> I like Boston cream. <laughs> uh, I guess cream field <laughs> donuts. <laughs> when it has a, 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 you know, yeah, chocolate and, and what's that filling in a the, in the Boston cream? I can't remember what it is. It's just a, yeah. Custard, that's the one, custard. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Now I want some donuts. <laughs> yeah, hungry talking about nothing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is Emerson's favorite food? <laughs> it's so funny when there's nothing to talk about anymore. <laughs> These questions. Um, I really like desserts. Uh, I like cinnamon rolls. I like donuts. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sweets. Hey, Steve. Emerson. Hi. This is where we wanted to be, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just the, it's like the questions rise, right? And it's just really, it's just the, but yeah, it's just the, uh, the silence, right? In, 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 in when all the questions seems to kind of like rise and they, they have nowhere to go, really. Your, your um, illumination regarding words was the real word ender. <laughs> In my initial letter, I think like last week, this was supposed to be the last day, but I switched it around. <laughs> yeah, that I, yeah. <laughs> It's funny because um, um, I crashed my computer and then um, I lost all my files. And then I tried to, you know what, you, you know, I, I'm writing a book and I had like preface and everything. And when I tried to get, you know, when you get the geek squad to kind of like go through your hard drive oh, yeah. of everything that you lost. And then I started um, basically kind of like, you know, getting a lot of my my notes from before that I thought I lost, you know, like something that you don't pay attention to anymore. And what was always present was just this absence, you know, and there was a journal when it apparently happened and I was reading, I'm like, okay, it's a loss for words. Just words kind of like rise up and it's just a lot of speechlessness because whatever would rise, you're like, okay, that's just empty. Well, if you can handle it, yeah, 
a while back I did a poem on medium. Oh, a few people, which is the wrong way to go about this, by yeah. the way, but it, 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 um, and I did it under, under the handle cool one. Yeah. My last name warm, cool one. Oh, cool. <laughs> I so like if, that. So if there's nobody else in line, it's like nine, nine, uh, verses, 10 verses. Send it to me. Send it to me. I would love to read it. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I got a couple of people that that from from yesterday stuff, you know, like especially the first and the second one, right? That they said that I think I'm gonna take, you know, um, not go for the the second and the third. I think that's that's good, you know, like it ended, you know, like the the. <laughs> it was just, I think it was um well nothing was really kind of like done, but the potency of just really just going down to the bottom of it, right? That it's just really words. Well, you're also interstate. You've got people from Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. And all these different time zones. Yeah. So when you have three sessions that span. It does. Yeah. Different yeah. Time zones. People kind of like, I think, okay, well, 11 o'clock and two o'clock is good. Yeah. The yeah, next yeah. One, the next one's like, we're in the middle of dinner. So yeah. that, I think that has some effect even though yeah no no i got i got a couple of emergent like one emergency basically someone said can you call me i'm like in the middle of i was about to dj last night and someone said can i really need to talk to you and and what was kind of like shared was basically like i i can't think anymore (laughs) it's like meaning that what whatever i'm thinking it's just it's just being it's like it dissipates like it just disappears right and and i can't think of anything anymore and it's just this it's almost like um, um, when you're trying to come up with something, you're like, oh, 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 and that's what was happening. And 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 she was saying, "Is that normal?" And I'm like, "Well, there's nothing really normal or normal. Those are just words." She goes, "Oh, that's right." But yeah, there was just a like you know, like a piece. You know what I'm saying? That you can't really seem to understand, like a softness without the uh, without the um, influence of words, right? Well, I have to go out and and walk to sort of and not turn anything on, just yeah, just walk. And all yeah. of a sudden, I realize I'm thinking about not this. I'm thinking about this thing and that thing, and where yeah. did that come from, and where did this come from? And it's kind of like, okay, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't but matter because yeah, but I don't have to. Let's see. Where was that self? I don't, it's like I don't have to get rid of it. It's not no, like an imp- it's not an imperative. No, no, no. It doesn't have to appear a certain way. It appears as whatever it is. It could be, it could be a, a walk with like trying to like, oh, where did that tree come from? Or you know, like what color is that tree? That's also, you know, that's also it, right? It doesn't have to be kind of like wordless because that's just another word. It could be filled with words, you know. So you could be thinking about your breakfast, but it's also, it's it's everything. It's everything, yeah. I usually, you know, um, talk to people that have seemingly kind of like you know, um, lost the um, nothing was lost, but in the story anyway, lost the the self or something, right? That it's just seen that there's just no such thing. And then what was really fascinating is that all throughout this year. I usually get a call and they're like, oh my goodness, this is so unexpected. Here I was gonna like, you know, super happy for a few months. And and all of a sudden I, I spent the day crying um about about something that was just gonna like um something really kind of like insignificant. And I thought that I just went through kind of like hell, you know, and, and then and then I'm talking to you right now and basically saying that it never really is what you think it is. It could appear, and that's why it's missed, right? Because you think it's a certain way. You think that it's the walking in the forest and everything is bright and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it's also when it's gloomy and you're thinking that I don't want to be outside. <laughs> why can I not see this, right? So it, it's because the words that that are appearing and even the non-words, you know what I'm saying, meaning kind of like just, you know, when you think that there's no words are just all appearances, 
So when words, when, when words like this or that don't matter anymore, it's just really like, it's just a flurry of words, right? Sometimes there's a, go ahead, sorry. No, everything's organized about, around words. Yeah. All the laws, all the rules, all the regulations, everything people are, are ought to do, should do, shouldn't do. It's all structured within the context of the words that are used to describe it. Yeah. When those disappear, anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can, and anything could happen with the words too. Yeah, yeah. It's just that people are structured to think that, oh, well, if this rule is followed and that rule is followed and then something is something will occur as a result of that, but not, not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so funny because everything that we're doing right now seemingly is just words. Without the word, there's really no Steve, there's no Emerson, there's no meeting. It doesn't need to figure out what this is because it will just try to come up with words and try to say, well, this is what it is. And I think it's pretty clear that as the next foot or the next quote unquote thing comes up, Whatever was there before wasn't there. Isn't yeah, there. exactly. So you're, you're, the wish for the word to fall called the self is just another word called no self. Or the absence or whatever you might want to call it, right? But, but without the word, there's never been a self to begin with. Or there's not even a begin with. <laughs> I'll end with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you, Steve. Hi, Emerson. I disagree. Actually, that was really effective. Now I can just stare into nothing. Words are dropping like flies. <laughs> okay. We can just relax. <laughs> we did the hard, apparently we did the hard work the first day. <laughs>
Oh, thank you so much. It was really nothing. Hi, Emerson. I feel really warm and gooey inside. Like it's really soft and peaceful. It makes me think more about food now. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I'm thinking now of cinnamon, warm and gooey cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Hey, Emerson. Oh, hi. Hello. Um, hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you, do how are you doing, Virgo? Yeah, good. Good, thanks. Yeah. Um, more, more comment to more kind of query. Yeah. Why is the allure of, of the rabbit hole, why is it so alluring? Because it's, uh, you know, the self wants to maintain its reality, right? So it looks for reality in, in knowing. It wants to know itself and it keeps on going in rabbit holes and rabbit holes. It, it creates, it's like it, it goes into um, others that have, you know, seemingly figured out reality or something. Right. So it, it's, it's avoiding its own reality, meaning that there's no reality to it, that it's not really there by, by um, creating, seemingly creating, creating kind of like this fantasy that there's something to figure out. So it does not it, it does not accept the truth that there's no self really there, there's it's it's not really there. So it tries to um tries to bury holes, you know, or dig holes to try to kind of like, you know, um, well, if I'm not real, then there must be a version of me that's real because this is happening, because it believes in its reality. It's uh it's a it's afraid to get pointed out that it's not really there. So it looks for um, you know, books and uh you know, other words to maintain its reality. So for example, the self all of a sudden, you know, is looking for itself, you know, like you're longing for yourself. And mm -hmm. then when, when it, when it secretly knows that there's really no self, then it creates this um, longing for a higher version of itself. So it becomes a higher self. Then it, it thinks that it's in awareness or something, right? It, it must be, it, it's the, it's the constant persistent fight that it's, reality again kind of like what Al albert einstein said right um reality is an illusion albeit a very persistent one so i or the self is an illusion but a very persistent one it completely disintegrates at night you know in sleep in deep sleep and it rises back again <laughs> you know what i'm saying in the morning um but what is kind of like just just it's like it's like a glitch, you know, that keeps on happening, right? It's a glitch in in perfection, and that glitch wants it to be real, wants the glitch to be permanent. Mm -hmm. So it 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 kind of like it creates gods, you know, awareness, Lord, you know, um, all this kind of stuff. Oh, wow. And there's there's nothing, but all of that is in the realm of words, right? The world that it creates is just in made up words. See, so it only exists in words. So that's why, you know, if I don't know if you notice in seeking, when you go to the rabbit hole, when you, when you hear someone say, I am, or, you know, or when you hear someone say something like an absolute, it longs for that. The absolute mm -hmm. truth or the absolute reality. It's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a disguised kind of like, you know, um, um, longing for reality because it creates reality through words, but without words, it doesn't exist. So it can only create reality through other words. And the word becomes a belief system. It becomes truth. But belief is just a word. Truth is just a word. Absolute is just a word. So it can't handle the truth that there's no truth. <laughs> so it just goes in circles and circles and circles. Hence a rabbit hole, right? It just keeps on. 
I was there. Oh my goodness. I was just going to like, it was just so insane. Right. Because I had moments of clarity, you know, like I'm looking back at some of the journals, there are moments of clarity, right? The moment that there's moments of clarity where nothing matters and there's just this absent, it tries to grab like, well, I must be consciousness then, right? And it creates another thing because it's exposed that it's not really there and it feels free. There's this freedom, you know, that arises, you know, when there's no identification. So it tries mm-hmm. to identify itself as something bigger than, than what you think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so sneaky. It's so sneaky. Yeah, it's so sneaky. And it's uh and, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just it's just an appearance. But the moment that the appearance becomes a word, you know what I'm saying, and a wrong or right or something to figure out or the truth or the absolute or the higher self and all of this made up words that maintains it. Then it becomes, you know, it, it, and it creates suffering when it can't find itself because when there is suffering, then it's real then. When there's mm-hmm. suffering, then it creates a reality. But if you take away all the words, there's not even suffering. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's hard to imagine that because it only thinks in words. <laughs> it can't think of absence of words because it admits that it's not real. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. I just wanted to throw it out there. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I had a last uh, minute DJ gig last night. Someone called me to DJ. And uh, there's a, a moment when, you know, when you're DJing and, you know, when everyone is dancing and, uh, and then the music seemingly takes over all of the words and the thoughts. And, and then you see kind of like a happy face that, that appears, you know, when people are dancing. <laughs> and when, especially when they're dancing for like a few minutes and they're just really caught in the dance, right? They're just dancing and there's just no separation. And, um, and that's why, like, you know, when, when, I was, um, when I was in younger, when I used to go dancing all the time, now I just DJ. Um, <laughs> or sometimes I dance. There's just this, um, you forget about the words, And that's probably why a lot of people drink and do drugs and everything like that is because they want want to forget about the words. But the horrible thing is, you know, when when there is a lot of kind of like intoxication, usually the next day the words come rushing back (laughs) in full force.
<laughs> words are like a bad ex. <laughs> Hi, Emerson. Sorry for missing yesterday. It looks like you guys have um, made a breakthrough of something. The silence is really loud. <laughs> is there any way that you can repeat <laughs> what was said yesterday? I think that I missed out and um, would really appreciate it if you can. Um, I know you don't like repeating things, um, but if you can, just even a couple of sentences will do. Um, sure, why not? So what was basically the, yesterday's um, talk was called the rise and fall of the empire of words. So what was being suggested is that if we strip down, if there was a word blackout, meaning that all the words have been eliminated and um, there are simply no words because they're simply not two, then it's going to be seen that every, you know, um, there's just going to be absence. Um, every word is made up and simply dualistic. True or false are just words. Words are in real because simply there's not two. It's very simple. Simply not two. In other words, words are just made up of words. Uh, so going back to simply not two, there are no words. Every single word is just basically an appearance. Um, backed up by another word. If you look up a word um, in a dictionary, it's just made up of more words. So kind of like what Fergal was saying earlier, it's like a rabbit hole of words. So the word looking for its reality will just, you know, dig up more words. Um, but since all the words are made up, so it can only function in a make-believe reality in words. Basically, it's dream speak or dreamlish. Um, so the word is just a word. And that's basically what was being expressed. So the word creates a loop of words to hide what is basically obvious that there are really no words because when what's being expressed is that there's simply not two, um, anything that, that suggests duality is made up. So everything that you have ever thought about, everything that you have ever said, everything that you have heard is just basically a word, a singular illusion made real by you. <laughs> but there's no you because you is just a word. And that word becomes the root of, of a whole bunch of words that creates this seeming separation um, like you know, big words like, you know, um, God, consciousness. And this is really triggering for some word. The one that is triggered by this is just the absence in the word because there's really no two, meaning that when there is no separation, um, it's impossible for reality to happen. So word is basically an illusion made real by suggesting that there is real, and there is truth and there's reality. Um, so you are nothing without words. You don't exist at all. Because existence and reality are just words. And the functioning of this apparent illusion is just a word maintaining reality. The, the Einstein quote was, um, reality is a, um, an illusion, albeit a very persistent word. 
<laughs> Word up. That's basically it. I'm not sure if that was similar, but something like that. Yeah. Hi, Emerson. Oh, hi. How, no. how are you, Petra? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Beautiful outside, though. <laughs> nothing, nothing much to say, but I'd like to share the beautiful sunset with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it's really nice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, no words needed. <laughs> yeah, no words. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> yeah you're gonna have a retreat here <laughs> i will i will yeah i will soon yeah. soon soon when when everything is um is no, all right I, my mom is so going good. to um have a birthday celebration next weekend so Ooh, um nice, yeah. yeah so maybe after that when everything goes well you know i'll be able yeah. to no travel stress. and we go to kiss leg and uh or maybe in summer. Oh yeah. Or in fall or next year. It doesn't matter no to me. I, I, we're, you know. we're together. We're always together. That's summer. right. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful um view for a retreat. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I fell asleep in the third session. I, I I set my alarm clock, but no chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, we can talk later. Okay. All right, Paper. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for the beautiful view. It's beyond words. Sorry, I was just getting caught up looking at the view. <laughs> so beautiful. Mm, you can almost hear the water. Mm -hmm.
Hi, Emerson. Oh, hi. That's Nick. Nick. Nobody Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <Hi. laughs> How are um, you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm trying to. I can't really. Hear. Okay, there we go. So I was chatting with my friend and he was just sharing um, about what was happening, but it was like all the words when they're not my words, they're light, they feel lighter. They, they do, yeah. <laughs> and I was overwhelmed by just listening and that there was no need here and no need there. Mm. And so it was just this, oh, my heart could break. I don't, yeah. with just this in loveness. Yeah. You know, like, uh, yeah, it's just speechlessness. I don't know how what to say about it. Yeah, but. because there's a, the word creates an inside and, or an, an outside, right? So you think that the words yeah. are coming from the inside and what you're hearing yeah. is from the outside. So when it's seen that the inside and outside are just really words to separate this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then it's like, oh, what the hell? Right? It's just, it's <laughs> almost like. It's it's like yeah it's it's almost like a your your it's like your heart breaks a million pieces because there's no more boundaries you're like oh. it's it's just all you know it, it, it and we're just talking words again right but it's just yeah. it's just the obviousness of it is just that what the hell right it's <laughs> like when 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 someone talks to me and they say why do you like doing one on ones I'm like because I'm talking to emptiness it's emptiness to emptiness yeah. meaning that there's no separation and um. It's just, yeah. And then to top it off, then, then you think that there's an internal voice that, you know, your chatter and everything thinking that that's separate as well. Mm. And then you're thinking that mm. someone has thoughts about you mm. when they're just all words. And that's really kind of like, what the? It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awkward. What do you do after that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. So like the words, it's like, it doesn't fucking matter, but this love, I don't know how else, what else you can call, call it, whatever you want. It's okay. Yeah, cause, Cause that's what it seems like. It just yeah. seems that way. Or it seems like <clears throat> and even like, okay. So this this sense of feeling separate is always sort of pushing everything away. It can yeah. somehow make everything I'm this and then everything's that. Yeah. So with that, it's like when it's then like the the uh, all the desires of the character and stuff can just fully be that. So it's like then just everything's more love, 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 love yeah, the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Love love the sauce and love the love the color that I like like yeah. loving loving what I like yeah enjoying more of what I enjoy or something like yeah. that yeah it's uh, like the barriers of words you know breaks right you know it's like the chains of words breaks and that's you can't even ex explain that right it's it's like you know there's this invisible yeah. chain in words and and the words that appear um whatever hearing it from others and here and everything is just all made up so if all the words that you've ever heard and you've spoken is made up all the internal words and what you you know everything is just made up all the chains kind of like drops right and you're like what the <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's just like <laughs> impossible to describe exactly, yeah. just just 
sauce being eaten yeah. just the sauce yeah and all yeah. the flavor you know yeah <sighs> <laughs> And I noticed too that um, when the words, when they feel like they're mine, um, then there's the need, then I need something. Yeah. Because then the separation's created. So then yeah. I need, when then I go, and then that other is really an other. Mm -hmm. And then that other needs to give me what I need. And usually yeah. I need some sort of validation or approval or whatever. Yeah. So then th that's the agenda going in. But if it's met by this emptiness, yep. then that one, the one who wants is throws the temper tantrum. Ah! Yeah. yeah. And that feeling, that shame, that being denied, that not being seen, that is it. Yeah. That, yep. Yep. that feeling rejected and mm -hmm. abandoned and like, it's it. Like yeah. the seeing of that feeling, yeah. that one that's always trying to be pushed away. Yes. <clears throat> when there's nobody left to even push that yeah. down. Yeah. It's fucking freedom. It is. Yeah. Uh, so just yeah. tears, tears and oh, my God, left out alone in the fucking yeah. wilderness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> naked and abandoned and it is it's raw right it's raw yeah. right it's it's no, it's no longer the kumbaya love and light you know like <laughs> spirituality. No. no it's fucking cutting your head off and being like I survive now hope you can make it it is it's not like but the then, great awakening and the ascension of humankind it, that's that that all falls down you're like what the hell it's almost like this this safe fantasy of what should be and then when that when that's just and it's just swirling words you know what i'm saying when the words drop all like flies you're like oh, shit it's just raw right it's just raw there's no more words that that can save you <laughs> no, it's no no and no one can save you what a yeah. heartbreak no one's there to yeah. save you yeah and there's nothing to be saved from but if that need is there that need is there and it can be emptiness meets it yeah. and the need can just fucking fully be that need. Yeah. And then it falls because it it's fully expressed. Yeah. It falls. And then there's fucking nothing but emptiness. Like, yeah. and that is like, oh my God, that's yeah. what I was longing for all along. Yeah. Was yeah. simply just whatever fucking is happening. That's even right. <laughs> the worst. Even the, the worst. absence, the absence of the absence of the, of the police or the gatekeeper, right? You know, the, the one yeah. that allows it or or blocks it all right it's just it's like the uh the police basically <laughs> the me police or the self yeah well, some, somehow security yes yeah, somehow there was a story that that would end or something like yeah. oh at some point it won't be so oh oh my god the world you know like it won't be so full or something or it won't yeah. be so i don't know but even now it like when you talk about there's no ending and this inf inf infinitely always unraveling. It. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's like, then where to go? There's nowhere left to fucking go. No, yeah, yeah. This game, there's nothing. It's nothing. There's nowhere it's, you can't, you yeah. can't escape that this is just always going to be falling. Yeah. There, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It feels like like it's madness, but it's not actually. It's almost like the sanity now, right? <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> there was all this inspiration to express, and I put it out there on my personal Instagram page. Yeah. And like my family and friends, <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I swear to God. No, no, just no. Like, oh, writing all these. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Holy shit! Unhinged, and then. I was like, oh boy. And then, but there was a resonance. I don't, there was a resonance. I mean, when you feel like you're in a cage and this song is sung, mm. it's like, like this, it's like birds to, or flies to, a, it, it, it's like, it can't help yeah. but be, yeah. 
And immediately, like then when I heard this message, it was like, yes, like yeah. everything was like, yes. Yeah. And then simultaneously, there's that other one that goes, oh, fuck no. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> doesn't want to get caught. Shit. But for that one, it's the worst. It's the worst thing you could ever hear in your life, you know. But because it's yours, but yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know. I mean, so for so sometimes there's, it's like you can't help but uh, talk about this or express it if that's oh. what arises. But at the same time, it's such a paradox of it's the worst thing. Yeah. And, and at the same time, it's the most liberating. So it there's is. Feel, it's the feeling of like, I don't, oh, oh. even that's yeah. a free fall. Yeah. Because you can't land on whether this message is no. not really good or bad. No, no. It, it, it's not even anything. It's fucking. It. Yeah. It's just a word. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's really even being said at all yeah how is that possible (laughs) yeah it is it's just like what hell right the 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 inspiration for this talks is just a few of conversations with someone that's been seeking for 40 years right and and it was like um um the way that it was described is that it's like there's so much tartar that you really have to, you know, <laughs> dr- <laughs> drill in there because it's just calcified this, this, you know, and I'm like, but what's really drilled in there? I'm like, Oh, it's just words. So we started kind of like, you know, yeah. just going back and forth with words. And I'm like, that's just a word. That's just a word. It's always, it's always going to like seen here that there's nothing that's really real made real, but the words is just what's glaring the obvious. Because we're, we're talking in words, but we somehow, you know what I'm saying, get caught up in words sometimes. And the words get in the way of clarity. But it's always clear. There are really no words. We're speaking in tongues. You know, it's just la, la, la. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible speaking in tongues, but you did it better yesterday. <laughs> that was pretty good, man. You know, that was good. <laughs> And it just that's just what separates it's a word. And someone did a quote yesterday about, you know, was it you, Casey? Like the biblical one it was it was someone that in the beginning there was a word. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, the separation was just a word. <laughs> it's just a word. And that everything that that and then all of a sudden there's this kind of like um kind of like a rabbit hole of words get buried in words and towers of words and belief system fortress, you know, um, establishments made of, made up of words, wars because of words. Word is God. So yeah. the word is just the, and then when it's in it, the word is just the word. Then word every word. word that becomes, you know, important is just like, it's the same. Yeah. He- yeah, when I, before I heard this message, there was some obviously spiritual, well, I mean, just in the story of Nikki, lots of spiritual seeking going on. So then there was traveling to India or traveling wherever. Yeah. But it was like so obvious that when you're in another country and you don't fluently speak the language, there's this, there can be this meeting um and, and without the words yeah there's just that intimacy yeah and so often i would find myself just in tears like at the airport or at, or having coffee or just yeah. this exchange because i couldn't deny yeah. that it was just pure love like just yeah. only love and yeah. i would try to talk to you know people about this and i'd be like what the fuck are you talking about why are you crying you know like are you crying about like just spreading jam on toast with a French woman and we just are, (laughs) I meet, you know, and there's just this, nothing's there, but just this intimate happening for for no one. Like, and, and I wouldn't have put those words on it at the time, but yeah, I always wondered why when I got lost and, you know, like in the middle of where I can't speak the language that there's, 
there's just this, like, it's like when you lose, only when you lose yourself, you find yourself. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so it's, it's, it, you know, that feeling right? you're yeah. kind of like in the middle of yeah, like yeah. this, yeah, yeah. this market and, and no one can speak in. And you're like, this feels, I don't, I can't explain the feeling, right? There was just this yeah. like, oh, wow, <laughs> this is, it's intimate, right? It's intimate because yeah. words no longer separate what is. Yeah. And um, that, like the lost, you know what I'm saying? That there's, yeah. it's, yeah, I can't explain yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but I know what you're saying, right? Yeah. You just kind of like, you, there's just this rawness when there's no, when there's no language involved or when there is a lack of language. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, just, and that, that feeling, that feeling of being lost too, when there isn't the energetic appearance of, I need to find, there's mm-hmm. just simply lostness. Yeah. That's, yeah. that is, that's freedom because where would you be found? There's nothing to be found. And it is always this empty, like you can't find any place to really put pin yourself or pin this down. So yeah, that that just start sort of like wandering somewhere and not really knowing where you're going or having an agenda in mind or sort yeah. of like that feeling I think comes close to like absence yeah. or something. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's almost like that we only find solace or safety. You know what I'm saying? When there is this stuckness, there's a solace and safety in words, but when the words get yanked out, even feeling lost or homeless or, you right. know, not knowing what is next is liberation is freedom so it's almost like we exchange the um again this is just a story we exchange this unconditional freedom for a certainty Mm -hmm. (laughs) in words in illusions Mm -hmm. you get stuck in the in the idea that it's real when 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 there's no reality there's just freedom yeah yeah Yeah. like feeling of um When there is just this love, I guess, it is somewhat, it's not afraid, but it is very vulnerable. And uh, there's nothing holding back anything. So with that not holding anything back, it feels like everything is here and everything is here. And so it's the feeling too sometimes of I could just die. Like yeah, some, you yeah, know, like yeah. I could just yeah. die. Yeah. Cause because it's so full uh, or so uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Without <laughs> saying any words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like there's not a care anymore. Because the one that cares, the one that's maintaining, yeah. you know, um the safety or you know, like the comfort zone. Is is, yeah. is is not even there. Yeah. It's like a it's like a secure it's like a self security. It's like a it's like a yeah it, it's 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 disabled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's just this oh well whatever that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like almost like when you don't have anything anymore, you can walk, you can go anywhere. There's nothing holding you back. Because and then when you see that what's holding you back are just words, you're like, oh. Mm, and and yeah. the word is the word believed in makes it feel real. Yes. When they're just words. The word creates the felt sense of separation, which is yeah. also an illusion, right? So when 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 there's this kind of like, but I feel real. And then if you really look at that statement, the word created, the word real to create a reality (laughs) of separation. Because the moment that there is reality, then there is separation. So it longs for a reality that does not exist. That's why it gets entangled in spirituality and you know what I'm saying? And and non-dual awareness and that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong or right about that, but it's just, it's just, seeking reality in words yeah busy work to maintain itself yeah yeah 
when there's nothing left to maintain and yeah seeing that yeah it's just like where where could the energy energy go anymore but towards just whatever is happening yeah yeah when i was a spiritual teacher i was stuck on those words of spiritual teacher <laughs> that it it was it was such a trap right because here i was a spiritual teacher and of course spiritual teacher if you look up look it up is made out of words like you know an example a leader or something and it was just this stuff and um and um but it was just i was just maintaining those two words spiritual teacher to feel mm -hmm. important to feel real yeah right and um i would hide you know when i would go djing right because i love djing but that does not fit in with the spiritual teacher kind of like <laughs> thing or go dancing that kind of stuff it was such a prison mm -hmm. so I got imprisoned by those two words and mm -hmm. ultimately it was just suffering with those words right because it was like well I don't feel like a spiritual teacher I want to you know whatever right I'm having whatever um so when those words fell apart of there's just no identity what's mm -hmm. identity it's just another word but separation is just another word. What's even whatever, any word that will come as, what is that? Then there's no more shackles. There's no more prison, right? Because the words are just the imaginary prison that you can't figure out. Why am I in prison? And in every single word that you say, <laughs> when there's a belief system of what, you know, what words should be, then that is the, um, what seemingly creates this illusion of separation of not free. Yeah, <clears throat> when I heard this message, um, I had no more ability to go to all of my old spiritual friends for sh sharing and then looking for guidance. I, I just couldn't, it didn't make sense to me anymore to be given a prescription or to be yeah. given some sort of, maybe you should try this or maybe you should <laughs> look at it from this angle. You know, like I had uh, it makes me want to puke the amount of conversations on looking at it. Oh, consider their perspective or look at it. And what's your rooted? What's it really rooted in? What's that fear really rooted in? You know, where, you know, it's just, it's like that whole game of needing something from somebody to add to the story. Just, yeah. and I thought about calling one of my friends just recently and I thought, oh my God, it made me want to throw up because I like, there's this knowing of what would, would happen is yeah. there would be a perception that something somehow it's always like when someone thinks something's missing, they're always going to try to give you something and it's not needed. This is nothing's yeah. fucking needed. So now it's yeah. seen as so crazy that somebody could ever think they could give you something. Yeah yeah oh, wow there's nothing missing there's nothing ever no, been yeah. missing what are you gonna give me yeah there's nothing he there's nothing here to be even received yeah it's just really an exchange of words isn't it right <laughs> all of this it's, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so when it's seen that word is really just you know it's just a description oh it can't do anything yeah. right it's uh someone contacted me recently and basically said hey emerson you know what i think you're a really nice guy but i think you should you should meditate and you know and, and practice awareness i'm like i did that for 10 years <laughs> mm -hmm. i played with all of those words for 10 years right then i was teaching and they were like oh i didn't know that you know because what i thought that if you would just be um you would just meditate and you know practice awareness then you would be fully enlightened i'm like those are just words mm -hmm. i can't express what is going on but this is you know in the past five years i think almost um there's no one here but there's just this unquestionable undeniable contentment happiness that i have not felt before because all i did was just sw swim in words right and and um and even when i was maintaining blissfulness i was it was just the word that i believed in that i was 
but when when seemingly um you know when there was a nose dive you know in situations right i could not get out of that word you know of enlightenment i'm like well i'm not enlightened anymore so the word enlightenment was my suffering because i thought i lost the word <laughs> And I was trying to maintain that word over and over again when it's just, it's just nothing. Yeah. Thank you, Emerson. I just oh. think you have the most clearest message. <laughs> it's not oh. yours. <laughs> Not yours, but you know, like there's nowhere to hide. There's just yeah. nowhere to hit. There's always just. Yeah. It's in the story. The story was because I was, um, you know, well-versed in awareness. So I know how to chop it up <laughs> yeah. because I, I was teaching, you know, um, meditation and all that kind of stuff. And hello. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. What's your name? Thea. Thea. Hi, Thea. Hello. Look at that. The best smile ever. <laughs> wow. Can you say hello? That's Emerson. Can you say hi, Emerson? Hi, Thea. <laughs> no need. Words, no need. For That's the word. right. Yeah. Just always this innocence. Yeah, it's just this. Yeah, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was this uh, in, in the story, right? There was just this. It's, it's, it's like it's like this spirituality is a cautionary tale. And trying to seek is a cautionary tale, right? So it doesn't mince words anymore. It's just mm -hmm. words. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fucking so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful to just cut the biggest story, the most special story they could ever be. Spiritual yeah. enlightenment and just oh, I know that. Oh, that's the story. I mean, come on. That's yeah. That's the. It, it's like it's like you know what a way for a word to kind of like you know to to become a, a this greatness like enlightenment. A word got enlightened. It's still a word. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just it's just the greatest story, right? The greatest, you know, um yeah. the greatest <laughs> hoax out there. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with it, you know, but but <laughs> but there's but this is not popular yeah. because you know what this when <laughs> this is being expressed yeah. and exposed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a lot of people that that there's in the in the story <laughs> anyway that yeah. is longing for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh honey okay I'm okay okay bye i love you love i you love too. i just love maline maline right i just love her i love her so much oh maline how are you doing i love her <laughs> let's bring up here you let's guys. bring up I love, I love you guys <laughs> i love her so much oh I love you Thank you. It's just pure love. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording so we can just really jam, you know, and talk. Yeah. <laughs>